Hello everyone, welcome to In My Opinion, the podcast. My name is Abiola. Today's topic says I am my husband's maid. Something you like to hear about. Continue watching this video, okay? My husband is a businessman. He has four shops in two different locations. One which is close to me where I manage, we sell food stores. I graduated from school 2016 and we got married the following year. So my husband was like, instead of me working and not being paid well, then I should assist in the business, which I agreed. Usually, I'm always at the shop where we sell food stores, even though we have boys that help in the business. The issue now is, when he registered the business, he did not include me as a shareholder. Instead, he used his younger brother that has been staying with us since he graduated from school three years ago. Secondly, Based on the recent happenings in Nigeria, cash scarcity, most customers transfer money to us when they shop with us. I have to call my husband all the time to confirm payment before we can release the goods, which I am not happy with. I have discussed with him to link my phone number to the account so that I can be able to confirm payment at the right time. Note, I do not have access to the business money. If I need anything, I have to ask my husband for money, to get it. I just started posting some of the things we sell online, even though our business is really doing well offline. I am thinking of, should I just stop and start working elsewhere? Because I'm confused. Yeah, let me start from the beginning, right? So the husband has a business. He used his younger brother as a shareholder and did not include his wife. Well, I understand how the wife feels because we are need together, right? Well, sometimes you have to spell things out. So is this business my business or our business? If it is his business, which is the husband's business, not mandatory that I put a wife, right? So if it's spelled out that way, then it's fine. So but if the husband is saying it's our business and you're putting your brother, you're not putting the wife, then it will look some type of way. So the next thing I want to point out is when the husband said, um, babe, can you please come and assist us in the shop? The wife should have spelled it out. That what type of assistant to you want? assisting that oh this is family business or assisting that when i assist you out you put me on the payroll you have to spell things out this is 2023 gone are the days where we start doing kasha mago kasha mashelo it doesn't apply anymore you have to spell things out my husband when i assist you are you going to pay me my husband am i assisting you because god said to assist our husband <laughs> jokes on me right so but all i'm just trying to say is spell it out because if you had spelled this out she won't be in this situation whereby you say you're, you're tired or you're stressed so the second thing the woman addressed is in the shop when she's at the shop she has to call her husband every two two minutes hello sir have you seen the payment of five thousand is it so 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 and so name on it yeah i remember then whenever i go to the store in nigeria and they have to confirm payment i always get angry it's frustrating i understand a point it's okay for you to check your phone immediately and confirm payment you don't have to be calling somebody in the office it's really annoying i know she's trying as much as possible to put her input in the business and how the business can go so that's one of the things nobody wants to go to a store whereby you're calling somebody in carpancha to confirm payments it's annoying so i see where she's going there by saying can you please put my number to receive the alerts so that i can confirm payments immediately so hello sir so that is not bad for her to ask she's wanting your business to be proactive she wants you guys to get better in managing things as regarding your show what that actually surprises me the most is where she says i don't get a monthly salary from this business and i'm thinking of quitting because i'm tired and confused it's very okay for you to feel this way because you're not being paid and you're still stressed on top of it all when you're trying to help your husband sometimes you have to let people be it's okay for you to assist your husband, but you do it to the capacity as which you have. If right now you already feel like you're already exhausted, let go of the business for now. Sit with your husband, have a conversation with him, let him know your concerns. Notify him if you want him to put you on the payroll. Let him know, define things. You can't be doing things like Kasha Mashelo. Go on those days, they do those things. Now you have to spell it out. Mention something saying that if I need something, I have to go ask my husband. Not all women like those kind of scenario. It's okay to have your money. It's very much okay to have your money. So, but if you think that working with your husband is not going to give you that 
that um, space that you want to be financially, then it's okay for you to let go. Talk to him calmly, let him know your concerns. If he's able to work things around for you, fine. If he's unable to work things around for you, still calm down and explain that you might have to go get a job somewhere else. You can also have money for yourself. Might not be as much as what you get outside, but at least something. Please, have conversation with your husband, sit down with him, have conversations like husband and wife, talk to him where he listens, and let's see if it changes. If it changes, good for you. And if it's okay, you can please go ahead with it. If it's not okay by you, just your certificate, madam. Support the law. Please move. Move because you, you want to be able to do things for yourself too. He has four businesses and you are there doing assistance. Assistant general. <laughs> <laughs> so really, this topic today is not a very hard topic to dissect. It's very easy. Speak to your husband, let him know your concerns. If he's okay with you, move. If he's not okay, go the second route. Get another job for yourself. That still does not mean that you wouldn't help assist him where necessary. At least you have a job outside that is paying your bills too. So please, woman of God, man of God, sit with one another. Have conversations like husband and wife. Work things out. Work things out. The fact that you are married to your husband does not mean you are going to be the slave for the rest of your life. No. You have to make money. When your husband is making money, you also have to improve on yourself. So because you are trying to help your husband does not mean you get drowned in it. If you are tired at the moment, relax. Take time off the business. Take time off the job. Rest. Think about what you want to do. And I'm sure you see an answer. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed today's topic, let me know in the comment section. Please do not forget to give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. What advice do you have for the couple in the comment section? Please let me know. I'll be there. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.